Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, let's discuss Palantir stock. Let's go over some general discussion around it and do some technical analysis by reviewing the recent price action along with figuring out where the price is headed with the market looking bullish. We'll see if we are finally ready to make a move up. If you're new to this channel, please do subscribe for more stock analysis every week. Like and share this video if you found any of the information helpful. Now, let's go into the video. Since these August highs, we are down about 30-33% on Palantir stock. We are in a more skeptical investing environment with disappointing third quarter earnings and full year guidance for Palantir. It only got worse for the share price of this already overvalued and uh, overhyped growth name. With all the growth stocks taking a hit this year with high rates of inflation, interest rate hikes and supply chain issues. One of the main reasons that Palantir has not done well in recent months is its weak guidance for 2022. With some serious headwinds in play, Palantir generally operates in the government and defense spaces. But the concerning thing here is the lack of more commercial clients. Palantir's customer count for this segment grew from 34 customers to 119 in the second quarter, year-over-year -year growth of 250% which seems good but not good enough as per investors as the stock has plunged over 50 percent this year but analysts still remaining confident and believing the challenges are transitory with macro environment improving through 2023 which may be constructive for high growth stocks like palantir moving ahead which needs to be a wait and see approach at the moment if this company can turn things around for itself and its investors Let's go ahead and look at the price action of Palantir in the recent time. So we have done some technical analysis last week for Palantir stock and pointed out that this 720 region going to act very crucial for a bounce here. The one reason we said that was if you look at the weekly, we have a support here in this area and the stock did bounce the before week at that point. If we can hold that and if the market supports it, we have predicted that there could be a bounce off from that area. And even now that, st that still stands true. If we can still hold that level, as we can see, this is the first week in the last month, last four weeks, we were only headed downside. This is the week where we were up about 5.2%, which again is a good thing for the longs here. Again, if you look at the daily, I, I, I have to be honest here, I might not be clearly see this trend change, at least on the daily. It is not clear as far as the daily is concerned. But if you look at the hourly chart here, we definitely look like this did break that channel to the downside. We have to wait and see if we can hold this level at 720. If this can be held and we create a nice uptrend here and break, let me draw the line. If, for example, if we make an uptrend here and break this, break this pivot at 845, 850 region, let me draw a horizontal line there so it, we can keep a track of it. So this region, which was again very key because we have seen multiple times either it acting as support or resistance even back in May when the stock has hugely gapped down, it did act as a resistance and uh, some form of uh, significance that level has. So what I want for it to move towards the long side is that first it needs to hold this level and not make any newer lows for it to maybe test these uh, 11s or even $10 mark before we even try to head upwards because the long term trend is still down. We will draw that on the weekly. Let me just let me remove this. Let me go to the weekly and show you the trend. We are clearly in a downtrend in the long term, even if you like to draw like this. We are definitely in the long term downtrend. That is, we cannot question that. But in the short term, we definitely see some form of trend breaking, but it doesn't have a huge pattern to boost, boost our uh, prediction to the upside. But as long as we can hold this 720 and consolidate in this area, we may still have chance to make this, break this 850 to move over to these new highs. 
because we are so far away from all these moving averages on the daily even 50 EMA the green trend line here is the 50 EMA we are so far away from it and also the 200 EMA which we have broken back in November 2021 and we are we have never gotten close to that 200 EMA at all so maybe if the stock market pushes a little bit and has uh, some bullish Let's do it and the continuation next couple of weeks we may actually test these highs because we have significantly dropped from these august highs very very uh, rapidly to this downward support as we can also see let me just uh, hide this and show you this here we have at 640 where we have previously seen the lows we may actually test those if this doesn't hold we have clearly broken this point at uh, 740s we moved to 720s which still is a little bit of a weaker support not huge patterns forming even on the candlesticks if you see there is not any strength here except for this uh, draw drawdown trend changing okay so if you're long you want to be here in this if you want to be an investor that is you probably like this stock at 720s or eight dollars than here in 20s right so this could provide a good opportunity for longs who believe in the company but as traders this is your support region if this breaks you are again headed back to these low six dollars 620s or 640s or even create a newer low and maybe trade in that range if this breaks and uh, if you want to play towards the long what are your targets going to look like as let me just take this out yeah the first target you want to achieve is $850 there you'll definitely find some sellers and uh, profit taking from these lows if we can hold this and push higher above this uh, green trend line we may actually again touch these highs of $11, $1150 post that again this 200 EMA might act as support you want to keep that in your chat as well to to make sure you are always tracking all these small technical levels and uh, trading accordingly all right if this video seemed helpful please drop a like comment below the stocks that you want me to analyze in the next videos i will do more and more based on that thank you for watching take care